Hey there, my friends and retro maniacs. What's going on? It's Retro Collectibles here. Happy Saturday, if you're watching this on a Saturday. Um, 22 degrees in Hamilton. It's just gorgeous out. I just finished my second full week at work. The first week I went back was kind of a part week, whatever. Just finished my second full week and I just slept right in today and I feel great. Uh, the last couple, my first couple Saturdays, I had to help a friend move. I had to do other stuff. Today, I was able to just not set an alarm and uh, I felt good. Uh, but anyway, got some good stuff this week. I got to show you. You probably seen my other video or my short. I got uh, the only one that I want, like that I really want. I love the way that it looks. In case anybody's wondering, it's uh, the Car Culture Chase, one of the new chases. If you see the uh, zero of five, you hit the jackpot there. Um, it just looks so cool though, and it looks night and day from the regular one. Just love that, love it to pieces. Uh, but my friend went to Las Vegas for the sole purpose of a little getaway with his wife but to hunt die cast and that's what he did he went to house the cars and he found another cool place and he brought back stuff that we cannot get here convention stuff stuff that you can't get unless you go to the big convention and it's funny because i go we he calls me and says come over and go shopping i literally go shopping at his house and i went shopping yesterday and uh, I picked out a couple awesome, awesome things. Like, a lot of the stuff you see in my videos, the high-end stuff, comes from him. Uh, he gets a lot of awesome stuff, and he gives me killer, killer deals on it. Um, it's funny. I'll, so I'll show you the first thing I picked out. I couldn't say no to. It's a Dica Super Convention, Las Vegas, Nevada, March... I can't read the date because my eyes are bad. March something, 2023. But if you watch my videos, you know I love my square bods. Look at that. Look at the front. Auto World. I did a video about Auto World stuff, guys. Um, the details of them. In my opinion, they make one of the best, if not the best, square body in the business. And you're seeing one of them. The 55 Chev, I love that. That's the same body style as the uh, two-lane blacktop car that I love. Uh, that if you didn't know, is the same exact car used in American Graffiti. It just was made to look different. Different drivetrain, too, if I read correctly. But even the top of the trailer is done, guys. Like, that is really nice. And this is stuff you could only get if you went to House of Cars or went to the convention. Or if you had a friend that went to Vegas and brought it back for you and was nice enough to hook you up. Um, this one is, I love it to pieces. And it's funny. I picked it out because of the way it looked. Something about the way it looked. Uh, it's a 2022, it's a collab, uh, LA collab, I think it's an LA convention, Nuclear Mines, and Cool 51. Sorry, you'll have to excuse me guys, I don't know a lot about this type of stuff. I know a lot about stuff that's in stores, I'm just getting into this, uh, the convention stuff. Um, but I got this just because it looked cool, okay, so... Actually, I'm going to take it out of the uh, protector to show you. I got it because it looked cool and didn't realize, like, I collect movie cars, stuff like that. I also collect horror. Like, uh, you see, and I have the Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Jada car. I have a Friday the 13th green light car. Like, I collect all that stuff, right? Didn't realize till I got it home. I looked at the roof of it. See that claw, the glove with the blades? You know who that is. Just giving you guys a really close up look at everything. Um, but even the roof 
Freddy Krueger sweater design. And the side of it, if you could see, is made to look like his skin, as disgusting as that sounds, but his burnt skin. And you could see Nightmare on the side of the car. And it actually says underneath Nightmare on Elm Street. But I did not know this. Now, I, I think that my buddy uh, knew that hooked me up. Uh, because they were kind of, like, this was one of the ones, like, he had a bunch of stuff out. And he said, you know, shop through, pick what you want. But he was kind of, like, handing me this. Him and Glenn, another friend that was there, were kind of, like, putting this one in front of me. Like, it's, he, it's just, what are the chances? Because he knows that I love this, right? Like, if I, if he would have said, I have this nightmare on Elm Street one, I would have been, like, sold. Like, I would have been fucking, oh, excuse the language. I would have been going nuts, okay? Um, but, yeah, so I get it home and I discover that. And I didn't notice this on it. Number 26 of 34. So there's 34 of them that exist. It's one of the things I love about M2 machines and I love about companies like this. You know what you're getting. Uh, like I love the car culture chases, but how many are out there? How rare are they? You know what I mean? But the whole card is just art. There's a little bit of info there, Los Angeles 22, but the whole card is art. You could pause it and read the fine print there. My eyes are not great, but. Uh, yeah, this is, like, I, I grabbed it because it was cool. Um, I was stoked about grabbing it because look how cool it looks, right? But then when I got it home, I messaged Dave and said, buddy, like, this is, he, I, he said he didn't know it, that it was Friday the 13th, or Nightmare, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, rather, but, I don't know, man, because that's, that's the first thing I would have went for. You know what I mean? So I think that they're playing a trick to see if I would notice it, maybe. But it's all good. I mean, I, I'm in love with it. Like, even the uh, trunk. And I don't know much about these convention pieces. I asked him how much it was. He actually gave me a price that was a lot less than what I expected. And then I get home and realize it's actually a horror one, which I love. So, uh, a little update on, so you know I got my Pink Skyline. There's a bunch of people waiting in limbo for the Pink Skyline. I think I figured out what's going on with that. I myself am waiting for my Monte Carlo. Everybody right and left of me have gotten them in Hamilton. I'm waiting. It's sitting in the depot. I've got the second tracking number. If you didn't know this, you can call Mattel and get the tracking numbers, all that. I got the second tracking number, so it's hit Canada, but it's just sitting in a depot. Back when I got my uh, 454 RLC truck, the black Chev, I waited forever. And everybody around me got them. People in my area got them. I called Mattel and they explained that they ship them out in batches when they get behind on shipping. And mine would be in the second batch, they assured me it wasn't lost. My Monte Carlo, they didn't tell me this this time when I called, they just said, you know, don't worry, it's not lost, it's in Canada, you'll get a shipping notification anytime, like a generic answer. They told my friend David though when he called about his pink skyline, don't worry, it's not lost, and they told him it's in another batch. So, that's what it is. Like, I, my 454 truck, I waited a while, but then one day, boom. Like, it took forever, but I got the shipping notification, and true to their word, it came. So, everybody waiting in limbo for the pink skyline, as long as you haven't been canceled or, like, refunded or something, if it's just kind of sitting in the tracking hasn't moved, like my Monte Carlo, that's what it is. I think they're just behind on shipping. They're shipping them out in batches, and... One day soon, hopefully, you're going to get it. Um, it happened with my uh, 454 truck, so I can speak with experience. Okay? I thought that was Fat Dave the Bird out there making noise. But he's not out there. So, anyway, guys. Uh, good news about the Kuya Toy and Collectibles show. I guess uh, uh, Marlon, who did it, 
like the way it went, he's going to be doing another one. I can't remember the dates offhand because I was tired when he told me. Uh, there's even a link, so I'm going to be moving forward in future videos promoting that as well as the Ontario Diecast Addict Show. Uh, you guys know I always rant about this group. It's been great to me since I've uh, since I've joined Diecast. I've learned everything in that group, and most of my collections come from that group. Friends I've met, like the guy that brought me this stuff here, I met him in that group. Um, so I promote the heck out of their stuff when they do it, and I've only missed one of their shows. Uh, their shows are the best. They're always hopping, always good stuff, and always great vendors. All the shows have great vendors, but the vendors at the ODA show, 9 out of 10 of them are friends of mine that I know, so it makes it all the more better. Um, there is awesome ones at the Coolia show, though, like really personable, nice. They make you feel comfortable and at home. Uh, those are the type of vendors that are cool. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck out in the stores. There's lots of goodies out lately, at least where I'm at. Not too too much but you know it's picked up since after christmas lol anyway uh please uh like subscribe and share and as always don't forget happy hunting <laughs>